Hello, good morning. I would, my name is Celia and I would like to welcome you to my succulents collection. And I love these little succulents because they're just so beautiful. Okay, let's start off with my Pearl von Nuremberg. And um, this is lovely. It hasn't got much sun at the moment, um, but uh, I place it next to a window usually. And um, so it should, it should uh, become nice and pink and purpley. Okay, uh, at the moment it looks like it's, it's kind of pinky, green, gray uh, color at the moment. Okay, and uh, this is, this is, is a sedum golden glow sedum adolfi golden glow um uh, this is this is just guesswork uh folks because although it does say sedum um it does say sedum on it and and i look at it looked it up and it looks like a a sedum adolfi golden glow but if you have um you know other suggestions do let me know in the comments okay and next is we have we have a uh, an Echeveria or Echeveria agavoides Eleanor. I think it's an Echeveria agavoides Eleanor. Eleanor, and um, so and it has got beautiful, beautiful little babies, little pups in there. See that? Okay. And um, it's looking a little bit yellow um, on, on, on some leaves and nice and green, green yellow with little babies. So I can't wait for the little babies to grow. And then next is we have, we have an Echeveria uh, Setosa firecracker. So I think it's a, a variety of a Setosa firecracker. And I don't know if you can see the small little cilii at the ends. Um, it, it's, got, it's got some lovely white coloration, yellow, white, and blue coloration. And uh, so that's, that's beautiful. And next, is we have we have my ionium ionium kiwi ionium kiwi with lovely green and red around the edges around the edges if you can see that beautiful and um, so let's give it a good look around and next Next is we have, um, it's an Echeveria peacocky or peacocki and isn't that beautiful color? Beautiful green, blue with some uh, white coating and uh, it's not beautiful, beautiful leaves. Okay, so again folks, if you are uh, have a suggestion about what it's called because I'm only guessing after watching succulent videos that this is an Echeveria, Echeveria peacocky. Okay, next is we have, we have a, an Echeveria affinis or otherwise called Black Knight. Now this is one of my favorites. I love the coloration, the green uh, and, and sort of like dark brown black uh, of, of the leaves. And so here we go. And on the underside, it's lovely and dark. And these are just my little babies, these succulents, just my little babies. Okay, that's the Black Knight 
and then this. This one is a an Echeveria polydonis. An Echeveria polydonis. And again, it's that beautiful, beautiful bluey green color of the leaves in a rosette shaped with kind of pinky reddish edges, tips. Okay, that's beautiful. And last but not least is my poor little My poor little Peperomia Fairy Ray and it, uh, I, I bought it like this from the shop and I couldn't, I couldn't pass him up because it looks like he needs some taken care of. Okay, needs, needs well looking after and, um, and he's quite a character as you can see. So this is Peperomia Fairy Ray Green Beans Succulent. Bye. Here they are again, my succulents collection, my Pearl von Nuremberg. My uh, so this is Adolphi Golden Glow, Adolphi Golden Glow, and this is my sedum Eleanor with babies. And Setosa, Firecracker, Echeveria Setosa, Firecracker, and, and this is my Ionium Kiwi, and it's my Echeveria Peacocky or Peacockeye, and, and this is my Echeveria Black Knight, Echeveria Aphenus Black Knight, and this is Polydonis, Echeveria Polydonis, and um, that's beautiful. And of course, my little man, Peperomia Green Beans, Peperomia Fairy Ray. Okay, so this is Celia, and I will say bye bye for now, and I'll update you on how they have grown. Okay? Okay, bye.